Hello guys, I'll be demonstrating to you an application currently for the Zune HD and um, it's called Virtual Boy Zune and basically it's a Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator for the Zune HD and it will eventually support Game Boy Advance games. This is basically a beta or alpha version right now as it's kind of limited. It does not include sound, you cannot import or export saves, you can't delete ROMs from the actual application itself and um, that's about it. And like I said, you can't play Game Boy Advance games on it. But uh, these features are planned to come in the future. And this was actually produced very quickly. The coder behind this uh, name is back at it from the Zune boards. He completely coded all the epi um, all the code himself. I myself am I Eric HD from the Zune boards, and I've helped out in a few ways. I have created the icon for the application itself which currently in the download is not bundled with it but hopefully will be in the future that's the icon I've proposed and um, we'll launch the application right now give it a second to load basically this is the default or this is the way to choose your applications or ROMs right now um, as you add more thumbnails to the game to the emulator the pictures will get smaller so you can basically see what I have on here I'm using Pokemon Crystal right now to demonstrate now this is the layout created by um, Spike from the Zune boards let me get this started up I don't really know Okay, so his layout uses a, um, it, I don't know, what you call it, it scales the game down into a square in the middle of the screen, and I believe it is at the Game Boy Color resolution, you, you can move just like this, I like how his D-pad, like you can see how it pushes in, um, so it's more of like a controller looking layout, uh, it has a power indicator, actually all the layouts do have this, and um, yeah, the layouts I have created. Actually, I did not create this layout. It's using my icons, but um, I believe the user back at it scaled it down to be in a more um, default resolution mode. I, however, prefer this layout for um, playing Pokemon on because it fills up the entire screen and does not look that bad when stretched out. So you can move around like this. I have uh, somewhat big fingers, so I have trouble hitting Spike's uh, D-pad a little bit. This one's a little bit bigger, so I find that easier to use. And I'm just kind of aimlessly walking around here to demonstrate to you how this works. There we go. Um, everything that you can expect would work. I can um, hit the start button. I can ridiculously try to show you this stuff. It's kind of difficult with the recording with one hand. I guess that's what I have. And, um, yep. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing on uh, the Zune HD screen. As you know, the Zune HD has an OLED screen. And I can tell you, it just, the images pop so well. Uh, actually, on this video recording, you can't even really see the, the color of the house roof, but on the game itself, it's like pinkish red. And you can, you can like kind of see the lines in it, but it's really incredible. Uh, you have to experience it yourself. And um, there's a lot of great things going on with this. A uh, new menu system being in implemented that will have the pan panorm panoramic, whatever, the view like the Windows Phone 7 phones have which is a ridiculously long name. Uh, so, I say keep your eyes on this application. It will definitely, uh, I can't wait to see how this is a month from now. It, it will be great. I, I already love using it now more than my iPod Touch version, simply because of how great the games look on this. As soon as I get Game Boy Advance games on here, it will be absolutely amazing. However, this does have a pitfall is that it eats up battery life pretty quickly and um 
back at it is said that he will try to work on some optimizations to make it uh, use less battery power, but nothing set in stone yet. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you have a Zoom HD, go check out this application right now. Check out the link in the description. Thank you.